Here is how to make a very simple and straightforward gown for laboring. It's perfect for maternity when you have nothing else to wear and you just want to be comfortable. And it's also perfect for labor and delivery when you also want to be comfortable in those beginning stages. You can wear this postpartum. You can wear this when you're not pregnant. It's really simple. So let me show you how to create it. First, you'll need a couple yards of jersey or knit fabric. You may need more or less depending on your measurements, which we will find next. Find your measurements for the dress. We are really going to be guessing here because you want this to fit pregnant and postpartum, which means you'll need it to be oversized to accommodate for your growing belly and still be comfortable postpartum. To do this, roughly measure from your bicep to the other bicep. Take a measurement from your shoulder to where you want your labored gown to stop. Add two inches to this measurement for the hem. If you have one long piece of fabric, you can cut one large rectangle or you can cut two rectangles with this measurement. Fold the large rectangle in half and then fold in half again. Measure across four and a half inches from the center and make a mark with a water soluble pin. Make a mark one inch down from the center fold and connect these two marks by drawing a curved line that will become your neck opening. If you prefer, you could fold a shirt you have in half and trace it for the neckline. Keep the fabric you just cut and use this as a guide to create a neckband. Fold your fabric in half and trace the bottom curve. Using a measuring tape or seam allowance gauge, mark one inch around this curve. Add one inch to each end for seam allowance. Cut the neck bands and right sides together, sew at half an inch seam allowance. Starting at the shoulders with the right sides together, pin the neck band to the neck opening. Use a stretch needle and zigzag stitch to attach the neck band. You can also use a serger here if you have one. Fold the neckband towards the inside of the dress and press. Stitch down using a stretch stitch or elongated straight stitch. With your dress folded, mark nine inches from the top of the shoulder on the front and back. Starting at the back mark, fold the fabric towards the wrong side at a quarter of an inch. Starting here, sew a straight stitch until you reach the mark on the front of the dress. This will make the arm openings. Repeat this for the other side. Now fold the dress in half again, right sides together and starting just above the sleeve openings, sew the side seam at half an inch seam allowance. Repeat this for the other side of the dress. 
Now hem the dress to your desired length and you are finished. If you're looking for more postpartum friendly sewing tutorials, click this next video.